Welcome back to the Hillbilly RV channel. Uh, today, Cameron and I are going to be changing the transfer switch on this uh, big old Montana fifth wheel back here. Um, this transfer switch, uh, we'll get in there and look at it in a minute. I'll get you the model number and all that. Uh, this transfer switch started back in the winter. There would be maybe a little power flicker or something on the on the uh, main power line and the the transfer switch would be like it'd be, it it would like get stuck between short cord and the generator no power in the coach uh, i came over in the winter time when these uh, folks were gone and i took the lid off pushed the contactor in and it's good to go and he's learned since then that if you just bang on the transfer switch it'll Go ahead and transfer back to the shore cord. Um, but this is getting really annoying because it keeps getting worse. Uh, it's, it's almost a daily occurrence now. And uh, so we're here to switch out the transfer switch. Typically, we like to put the exact same model back in there just so we're, we don't run into a short wire situation or something. Because you'll see those are big wires and sometimes they're really short. But uh, the customer ordered a transfer switch. This exact model is no longer available. Maybe we know why, uh, because it, it's not working. <laughs> but uh, so we did, same manufacturer, same model, but it just has, uh, the one that is in there has a built-in surge protector, which he doesn't really need because he's got a uh, surge protector on his shore cord. So the transfer switch he got does not have the built-in surge protector. So. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to crawl back in this hole here and uh, oh, try not to swelter to death back in that hole. And uh, we're going to get this thing switched out. And uh, I'll try and take you all along for the ride. It's going to be tight quarters in there, but I'll do my best and see what we can do. All right, this transfer switch is an IntelliPower. It's a model PD52DCS automatic transfer switch. Um, and the model that we're putting in is a model PD-52. So, like I say, it just does not have the surge protector built in, which he does not need. So he's double surge protected. And I don't know, really, it is such tight quarters up in here. I don't really know what I'm going to be able to show you, but I'll try my best. So the orange one is the generator. And that one is the shore cord. And that one is the load. This lid has a legend. It tells you you know, which one's the generator, which one's the shore cord, which one's the load, which load goes up to the uh, power distribution panel. Uh, I've got my meter out. I'm just going to, we have the camper unplugged, but we're just going to make sure 100% uh, that we have no power in here. Um, this camper does have an inverter, uh, and there should not be any power in here from the inverter, but it just does not hurt to check. It takes a minute and uh, it could save your life. That's a pretty good deal. Take a minute to save a life. It is just terribly tight quarters up in here. <laughs> uh, but it could be in a worse place, I'm sure. If they'd tried harder, I'm sure they could have found a worse place to put this transfer switch. It's not terrible. It's not super good either. Put our meter on the AC scale. There we go. Y'all can't see it, but it's okay. I can see it. You'll have to trust me. So. Checking the shore cord. It is dead. Yes. Just for grins and giggles, check the generator. 
There we go, where everything is dead up in here. Here everything's dead. Okay, we're good to go. We are good to proceed. All right, just got this trans the new one opened up. It is the same configuration. Uh, since it's the same manufacturer, same model number, it's just missing uh, an electronic board here. Um, I'm gonna label, I mean, they come out different sides, but just to keep from having any confusion, I'm gonna, I'm gonna label the, the load wire and the shore cord because they're identical. The generator's orange uh, covered wire, so we don't have to worry about it, uh, but the others are black. So I'm gonna label those and uh, just so there's no confusion at all. And uh, I'm gonna proceed here. Um, Oh, I was gonna just kind of show you here. There you saw inside the new one, and the old one just has that board up in top with the LED lights. That's the surge protector part. Does that legend tell you uh, which side the short cord comes in? Yes. Okay. Oh. Okay, I got everything loosened up up here. Uh, all the wires loosed on the contactor, all the ground wires loose. So now uh, just gotta get these nuts off these box connectors and uh, get all the wires, the big wires pulled out of this one and start to switch ruin. <coughs> I'll cut you off for a little bit and uh, we'll be back. Here's the uh, legend in the door for the old one, and here's the legend in the door for the new one. So the difference in the size is just that the extra electronics that the other one had that this one doesn't. So everything's identical as far as uh, where everything comes in to the contactor, so this should go pretty easy. Just, it's a heck of a place to work back in there. My head's in between all them wires and I'm one arm through there and I'm working up there. That's where that transfer switch hides up there. So it's just a great place to work. This is for all you folks that uh, say, man, you need to get, you need to get close-ups of what you're doing. This is the kind of place I'm working in, and this is not uncommon. So, if Cameron steps back a little bit and gets a little video of where I'm working, hopefully you all will understand why sometimes we just can't concentrate on the video. We really need to concentrate on what we're doing, where we're doing it at, and who we're doing it for. And I hope that, I know most of you understand, but there's just some of you that don't, don't seem to understand the kind of places that sometimes we are in. As you can see, I'm got I'm wearing these wires like a string bikini back here, and uh, trying to trying to get this job done. It's good look on you, Ken. <laughs> some, th some things you just can't unsee, can you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, sorry about that, folks. <laughs> Hopefully, hopefully nobody was eating, eating lunch or anything when I said that. So we got the new transfer switch in. We're just starting to, uh, starting to run the wires and get things tight. And uh, we're going to carry on. All right, folks, the installation's complete. 
it's time to smoke test it. You know what that is. We turn the power on and see if we see if any smoke leaks out. Everything's nice and tight in there, everything's confirmed, it's it's oriented correctly. Alright, we just transferred. You should have heard it click. That's fantastic. Now we're gonna unplug the shore cord. Customer's gonna start the generator and we're gonna make sure it transfers to the generator. Oh. Uh, so okay. Now he just unplugged it so it it untransferred from the shore cord. And now the uh it should transfer automatically too with the general, with power on. Yeah, I just don't like doing that. Yeah, it should, but I don't like doing that. <laughs> not if we don't have to. Yeah. So the customer's going to go in and start the generator. You should probably hear the generator start here in a minute. And there should be a delay. And then it should transfer. You should see that bottom one. That bottom contactor go in whenever it transfers to the generator power. So there's the generator running. Like I say, there's probably going to be uh, maybe even a 30 to 60 second delay before it transfers. It's pretty quick too. Yep. If I've done my job correctly, it will transfer. There we go. She transferred. That's what we was looking for. So, uh, looks like uh, we're successful. I know I'm sweating. If, uh, if success equals sweat, we've been very successful. Oh, sorry, y'all was zoomed in. Uh, so, uh, all we gotta do is put the lid on it early and uh, put the uh, put the walls back, and it's a done deal. But too bad. Not for me. Not, yeah, I was gonna say, not for Cameron. Uh, yeah, so uh, we're just gonna button this one up. It, it wasn't bad. Uh, Could have been in a better place to work, but um, at least the wires weren't short. I mean, we we had plenty of wire, plenty of length on the wires, and. Uh, the only thing that would have made this much worse is if it had been really cold today because the colder it is, those wires get stiffer and stiffer and uh, they're pretty hard to deal with. But uh, it is definitely not cold today and uh, that's going to be it. This is Cameron's first transfer switch, I do believe. Yes, it is. So, what do you think? Not too bad. Yeah, especially if you're the gopher. Yep. <laughs> All right, folks, uh, we are going to go up the road. We got two more to fix today. Be a total of four jobs today. Uh, we're going to do that. And um, y'all go down in there and leave us comment, a criticism, a concern, or hallucinations if you have any. There you go. Um, if you're hallucinating while you're watching my videos, I, I, I pity. I really do. But uh, yeah, uh, y'all have a fantastic day, and we'll catch y'all next time.